Before we get started, anyone interested in ordering Mr. Lindell's four CD set, go to metaphysicalarttheater.com. For those in the U.S., you can order physical copies or the digital downloads. For those outside the U.S., you can order the digital downloads by going to metaphysicalarttheater.com. Hey, no, sir. Just fine. Good, good, good. Today we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to use the phrase, abracadabra, and that simply means I will create as I speak. <laughs> That's it. You just said the whole message. <laughs> Question is, with abracadabra or we create as we speak, uh, we're often thinking ahead of our evidence and so forth. How do we watch our conversations? Because a lot of times we're speaking haphazardly and we're not aware that we're creating as we speak. That's right. And that's dangerous, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's anything from uncomfortable to disastrous. That, that getting lost in thought or just babbling off to yourself in in your mind what what are you talk, what are you talking to yourself about if you know that i mean if if you're aware of what you're talking to yourself about then it's your responsibility to either accept it or reject it and if you reject it reject it completely what i mean is don't give it any more thought because you know that that that's that's the problem we have is being double minded and, and and being double minded is is that you, you're you're on your side one moment, but the next moment you're not on your side. In other words, you're you're denying yourself because we're told that all denial is self denial. So if you feel you're being denied, it's you denying you because you won't straighten out your conversations to actually decide what it is that you want, what you're looking for. Because understand that what you're looking for is, in fact, looking for you, and it always finds you. So what are you sending out? Because whatever you're sending out, talking to yourself about or out loud, it goes out with an attitude, with an assumption, with a mood, and comes back to you, pushed down, shaken together with that idea. So in other words... Just be aware of what you're allowing yourself to attach yourself to of your own inner conversations because see, it's all creative. Even if it's a negative, it's still creative. And, and, and all you're doing is, is that you're just messing up your mess, your, your, your nest, and not, not cleaning it. I'm telling you that you're in charge. But... You have to stand and take charge. You have to claim the position of being in charge. And the only, and the only one you're claiming it to is yourself. And if you don't feel you're in control, sit down and think about it for a while because you are in control, even if you're out of control. Isn't that so? It is so. You know, and everything you said basically really lines up with you know, again, today's topic, abracadabra, because we're creating. And you said something earlier. You said, you know, whether you're actually thinking it or if you're actually verbalizing it, you're still creating. And that's the thing. We sometimes think that just because of thoughts in our mind that it has no power in the realm without. And we both know that that's just not the case. If you heard it. You're the only one that needs to hear it because it's as you think you are. You know, Scripture tells you right straight out as you think you are. That tells you the whole story right there. As a matter of fact, Mr. DiCarlo told you this whole story right at the first of the talk when he told you as you think you are. I mean, that's it, abracadabra. Absolutely. What 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 are you thinking about? That's all you have to ask yourself. And if you'll do so consistently, persistently, to see 
actually what it is you're thinking feelingly about because thinking feelingly about is thinking ahead of the evidence you will be experienced that you just mouthed. In other words, <laughs> watching your mouth, right? You know what, and I just want to say, in the future, as you think a thought that you don't want to manifest in your world, just think to yourself the words abracadabra, because even though you may not want to outpicture that thought, because you've given attention and feelings to that thought, abracadabra. And somebody recently said about subconscious mind, even when you're thinking that you're talking about someone else, subconscious mind cannot distinguish that you're talking about somebody else. So it takes it as a personal command. So when you're thinking negatively about someone, you're actually thinking it about yourself by way of subconscious mind. That's right. That's right. You see, even when you're not trying to listen, you're hearing more than you're aware of that you're hearing. You're seeing more than you're aware of of what you're seeing. You're thinking more aware. You're saving yourself. But if you're not actually feeling what you're saying, thinking that you have demand on the whole world by your choice given to you, choose this day. And let me, let me, let me make this clear. You are doing so. It, it, it's not a request that, as you think you are, it's not a request. It, it's actually what's happening. And, and all you have to do is that if you listen to your own conversations and then you see what it is you're doing, and even if it's a long time off because of our idea of time, it's still your conversation being expressed physically, mentally, spiritually, what, what, what are you doing in mind? Because that's the place where it's all done, in the theater of mind. And you are the theater of mind. What are you doing there? That's all you have. What, what do you see yourself doing? Because you're always thinking ahead of your evidence. What are you seeing yourself doing? Because that's what you will be doing, right? You're so correct. You know, you were stating uh, a moment ago about, you know, when you're thinking, you know, don't think about what it is that we say as merely, let's say, religion, because if you're thinking that it's just religion, then you're missing it. Somebody said in the group recently, I had posted to someone to, you know, scripture said, give and it should be given to you, press down, shaking together, running over. And somebody came across and said, oh, no, not that religious stuff again. And I told them that, you know, these words are not religious, they're spiritual in nature. Now, of course, the religious community has taken these words and ran with them, but these words apply to whosoever will. That's right. That's, 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 no, that's, that's, that's absolutely correct. You said it correctly. As you think you are. If you will just repeat that to yourself several times a day, sooner or later, you're going to think, maybe I should really be watching what I think if that's what I'm going to experience. That that makes sense, doesn't it? It does, abracadabra. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, like I said, when you said that right off, I said, well, you just gave him the whole message. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know. And, and, and you know, some, some, sometimes just something simple said like that. Because I, I, I remember I remember the one where, where it says, you know, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Yeah. But you teach him how to fish, you feed, you, you feed him for a lifetime, right? Absolutely. That's what we're doing. We're, 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 we're trying to get you to fish for bigger fish, to, to have more. You know, there's so, so much more being offered than, than we're taking aware of over the whole world. It's already offered right here, right now. Because he says, I'm with you always. Wouldn't that be right now? Always is right <laughs> now and yesterday and beyond. So, so what, what, what would you be afraid of 
unless unless you're not really believing it. Yeah. See, the whole thing hinges on what you believe, because what you believe is what you're saying, even if it's silent. That's it. You're thinking ahead of your evidence. If you want to change it, now's the time to change it. And that's what you're told. Choose this day. And it's always this day. What are you choosing? Because you are choosing. Thinking, feelingly, is choosing. What are you choosing? Is it lovely and of good report? That's what we're told. Think only on things that are lovely and of good report. And if that's all you think, and as you think you are, hey, it's a free way home. Make it. Really, focus on it. What has your attention as your life? What are you thinking about? Isn't that the question? It is the question. You said something. You said, you know, what are you afraid of? Unless you don't believe. What are you frustrated about? Unless you don't believe. What's got you upset? Unless you don't believe. It really does come down to what it is that we believe. That's right. And you're experiencing what you have believed right now, right up to this moment. But you see, since you're thinking ahead of your evidence, you have an opportunity to change your mind, change your world. And isn't that what he told us to do? Yes, it is. Isn't it? It is. Why aren't you doing it? See, that's the question. Why am I not doing it? Why, why am I not taking care of business when I am my business. See, we spend too much time worrying about what somebody else is doing, and we're not paying attention to ourselves. See, you're denying yourself when you're not paying attention to what you're thinking and feeling about. Isn't that so? It is. It is. And we've scattered, as you stated, you know, a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. I guess I, I haven't straightened it all out yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, and that's another thing too. You know, people tell me they they think they think that once they understand stuff, that everything else just goes away. But it isn't that way at all. I mean, you, you're still you still have a body, and and, and the body that you're wearing is, is very demanding. As a matter of fact, it'll bug you and bug you and bug you. <laughs> so, so your attention is always being taken away from something. But the more that you'll sit in the quiet and be still and know that I'm God. Now, to, to tell you that you can do that, see, th this is God telling you that you can do this. Be still and know that I am God with you always will never leave you omnipresence what more do you need to do and know than as you seek that's what you find what you're looking for is looking for you so ask yourself what what am I looking for by what I'm thinking isn't that the question it is the question, and I want to touch on what you said. You said, you know, a lot of times when people believe that they have a spiritual experience, that all their problems just go away. And you said, you know, that's just not the case. And I'm glad that that was mentioned because a lot of times we as creators, we think because we are creators that we don't encounter any problems, but you said we're still occupying this body and we're still living in the 3D. So as long as we're occupying this body and living in the 3D, we're going to experience challenges, but we don't have to let the challenges control us. That's it. That's exactly it. That's exactly right. You're either choosing or you're being chosen for. Now, there, there's, there's no really in between there because until you know that you're in control and you're given control and you're using control. The question is, how wisely? Because you are using it. There's only one power. There's only God. 
and he made a creation, and then he gave his creation to dream the dream. While he's dreaming you, you're given to dream your dream, and you're doing so aware or unaware. All, all, of, our, all of our talks are to get you one thing. What are you thinking about most of the time? Because that's what you'll be experiencing most of the time. Isn't that it? That is it. You know, speaking about what you'll be experiencing, you said, you know, we're always taking our attention away from something, of course, and applying it to something else. So we're always moving away from one thing towards another, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. So we choose if we're moving towards good and away from what we call error. Yeah, well, you know, the thing of it is, is that people are so worried about being worthy. I mean, get over it. You're not. Scripture says very plainly, not one is worthy. Not one. God's no respecter of persons. You are going to experience what you think feelingly about good or otherwise because God says, I'm suffering with you, but you behold me not. And because you behold him not, you don't understand that help is right at hand, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> so, right so as all it, the help you need is near, right? Nearer than hands and feet. I was actually going to say the same quote. <laughs> that was it. That's it. It's right with you. All the help you need is right with you already. Just turn to it. And God tells you, if you turn to me, I'll turn to you. But if you deny me, I shall deny you also. But he has no choice in the matter because he already set you free. Choose this day. You're free to choose better. Choose better. Do so consistently, persistently as you can. And as it, the benefits of doing so will just knock you over. You fall backwards. That's what, when Jesus told them how to do it, they fell backwards. Because it was so super simple. They thought, you know, wow, wow. Even, even at that time, of course, there is no time. But you're using it as though there is time. And you'll experience what you're thinking feelingly about. And feeling is the secret. It, that, that's, that's what our teacher told us was, was feeling is the secret. How do you feel about what you're thinking and feeling? Or do you even know what you're thinking and feeling? How do you know? If you don't know, then you don't know what you're bonding with. And you could be bonding with ideas that you, you have no, no concept of the problems that you're pouring upon yourself. Because it's always self doing to self what he thinks he's doing to the world. You know, there is an accounting. You have to, you have to face up to it. You're not perfect, but you can energize yourself. Seek and you shall find. And you are finding what you have been seeking. Isn't that right? That's true. Yeah, everything that we have up until this moment is our speaking, our abracadabra up until this moment. And you said, you know, you're always finding that which you seek. And you said that all denial is self-denial. Matter of fact, you said that if you deny God, God would deny you. And it goes back to what you said after that, all denial is self-denial. God's not denying anybody. He can't deny because God will not deny himself. So the God that's denying you is you. <laughs> that's right. And that's the creator of all your problems right there. Yeah. As you think you are. No question about it. No, there's no follow through. And you're told that you have whatsoever to choose from. What, what, what limits would be put on that? 
w would there be a limit? No. Would there? There's no limit. Yeah, that that's the marvelous thing that who who's the block in 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 this in this situation? But but self. It, it, it's it's you denying yourself the freedom that you're you think you're seeking, but you you're not thinking of the freedom. You're thinking of the bondage, whatever that is to you at the moment. And and it's your thinking so that makes your world of experiencing. Isn't that so? It is so. You know, and I'm glad that we went back to that. You asked the question earlier, what was it that we were bonding with? And then you go on to say about thinking. You said, listen, you know, your thinking is the bondage. You know, so if there's a block, you know, in your head, you know, sometimes we say block head, but that's not what we're saying. You said if there's a block in your head, uh, that that block starts with you. So in order to remove the block, then you have to begin to change your thinking in order to transform, change your world. That's it. Look, your world is your creation. Hmm. You can deny so, not lovely, and you can take credit for it if it is, but you didn't do it. As Jesus said, the Father within me does all the work that I, I of myself can do nothing. Now, listen, this is Jesus saying that he of himself could do nothing. That the Father within him does all the work, but then he's telling you that's the same Father that's in you. And you were given choose this day, so you're on all the time choosing because you are doing so, rather you're aware you're doing so or not. And all of these talks are just one, th one idea that is just be aware of what you're allowing yourself to entertain as thought because you will be playing the part of whatever you're imagining. And that is exactly what we're all doing. We're all playing the part that we are imagining, not why you're imagining it, not, not who gave it to you to imagine, but as you imagine, you are, you be, you have, and that's the whole story. That's so. <laughs> it is. You know, and I like that you said and you remind, reminded the listener that we're all playing the parts. And I want to stress what he said. We're all playing the parts that we have imagined. Now, some of you, that's kind of hard to fathom, but think about it. If I'm playing the part that I've imagined, somebody called this child play recently, and it is. If I'm playing the part that I've imagined, then I can simply change what I'm imagining and play a new part. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's what we lost as children. We lost the ability to imagine and believe it, even if no one else can see it. Because to the child, it's real. And that's what it must be to you. Thinking makes it so. Think about it as lovely and of good report and as you desire it to be. That's what you're supposed to be focused on because what has your attention has your life. And if you want to experience it, then you have to experience it through imagining, through thinking feelingly from that state, thinking from it, not of it, because thinking of it is a denial that you have it. Isn't that so? That is so. And Edison, as well as Neville, both said, you know, thinking is speaking low. Speaking is thinking out <laughs> loud. So in essence, we're still dealing with abracadabra as you say, so should you have. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, how many times, how many ways have we offered it to them? Look, you can do this. That's what we want to get you to understand, that if God told you to do it, he wouldn't have told you to do it if he knew you couldn't do it. But he knows you can do it, and so he told you to do it. So do it, right? Absolutely. And you often say it, and I'm going to add it here. Do a thing, and you shall have the power. That's it. It's, it's all laid out for you because people think, oh, this is, oh, religion is so complicated. So, and, and actually, the way it's delivered to you, it is complicated 
because you're getting more than you can analyze for yourself. And so it's like a blur. And, and, and it's just too much, too much put upon you to, to remember. There's nothing to remember but who you are. That, that's the only thing you're here to remember is who you are behind this mask, this part you're playing in this play of humanity. As Shakespeare said, it, all the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely actors. It's not who you are. It's what you're doing. See, that's, that's the thing. You're doing. You're doing what you're doing because that's what you're thinking feelingly in yourself. Subconscious mind is never going to question you as to what you're thinking. Only produce it in your world of experiencing. And so there's nobody to cuss out <laughs> because it's all you. Yeah, yeah, really. And I did a lot of cussing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you speaking, you know, you're speaking about subconscious mind. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, really. Really, look, subconscious mind was given, was given so that you would understand what you're thinking about ahead of it happening. But you're not doing that unless you're paying attention to what you're thinking and feeling. If you're paying attention, you'll see yourself leading yourself, guiding yourself into a problem or into success. But what is it that you're looking for? Because that's what you're going to find, because that's what's looking for you, if that's what you're looking for. But be careful what you're asking for, because you see, you're not you're not really focusing on what you want as much as you're focusing on what you don't want. And the one that gets your attention the most is the one you're experiencing. So it it, it it's kind of a, a delicate thing there because we jump back and forth on, on things that we're looking for. And what's producing it would 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 be <laughs> always having a problem with you switching your mind so often. It's what you're feeling, thinking, feelingly about is your world of experiencing. Just understand that what you're thinking about is your everydayness experiencing. If you want to change it, change your mind, change your world, and it's ongoing, isn't it? It is ongoing. You know, you talked about, you know, who you really are. And most of us, we simply have forgotten. And when we discover who we are, we can't even believe it. Even though we use the name day in and day out, we use the name of God, I am. We say, I am this, I am that. And so we're always attracting to ourselves or repelling, depending upon our state and our feelings. But, you know, you said something, you said, you know, when you're occupying in the appropriate mindset, then you can attract or bring into existence that which you desire. But if you're not, then you're going to repel the thing that you think that you're trying to manifest. Yeah. It's just, it's just being aware. That, that, that's, that's the whole thing. It's just being aware, aware of what you're thinking, feelingly about generally most of the time. Because if you're aware of what you're thinking, feelingly about most of the time, that's what you'll be experiencing if you're agreeing with it. But if you're disagreeing with what you're thinking, feelingly about, then stop. Go sit in a silence. Change your mind. Change your world. That is a given. It's already a given. You're not waiting to be good to experience it. You're not waiting to be better to experience it. It's with you now to be experienced in the now. This is the appointed hour of desired change, and you're on all the time, and it's always this hour. <laughs> 